Libra, hi, welcome to your read for this week. These are YouTube general readings. They won't always resonate with you. You can take a look in the description below. My email is down there. Um, you can get your own personal read that will resonate with you. I require your birthday, birth time, and birthplace so that I can custom tailor your tarot read to what's going on in space for you. And... That way I can give you accurate advice and your outcomes. This week for you, Libra, I am going to be doing, well, for all the signs, but <clears throat> for you right now, I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross along with a pick-a-card reading at the end of the read. Now the pick-a-card reading is going to be tailored to what the Celtic cross was. So if the Celtic cross doesn't resonate with you, the pick a card reading will not resonate with you, obviously, right? Because I'm going to tailor the question according to the Celtic cross read. So if the Celtic cross does read, the Celtic cross read does resonate, then go ahead and put those two cards, pop them in your head. If it's going to be one or two, that should resonate with you, okay? But I don't know the question yet because we haven't done your Celtic, right? So... Kind of stumbling on my words here. Maybe you're stumbling on your words with somebody here. That's Virgo's fault that I'm channeling now. I didn't want to channel. I just wanted to do cards, talk about a little bit of astrology on the side, and uh, be done with it for the week. Oh, and I'm back. I'm doing 12 a week again. So. All right. <clears throat> Well, it's about time I get a fun read. All these reads have been kind of heavy. Uh, especially the Leo read. That was heavy. Hierophant. You want stability, Libra. You want stability, and you want stability in the form of marriage. Some of you really got to want marriage. Some of you do. You know, Eastern countries, like I'm in Japan, marriage is a big topic. You know, stuff like that. People still look at marriage like, you know, but I know the Western countries, you don't look at marriage like that anymore. It's kind of like, okay, but some of you may want that. <clears throat> I don't see a person here specifically here for you so much as there may have been a past person that it ended with. What's being challenged here with the Ten of Swords is to kind of like, well, finally end it. If it's been ended, then end it in your mind and stop bringing it up in the energies. In fact, it's you bringing up their energies because you're thinking about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Huh. Yeah, it's you thinking about it that keeps bringing up the energies. I feel like this has been severed, and I feel like there was kind of like a mutual agreement here for a severing here because of there was a 10 here, and then there's a 10 here. And now I see in the past the Nine of Pentacles, meaning there's one little piece, one little piece that hasn't ended, and that's the little tiny thinking that's going on in your mind about what this is. Some of you may be scared to be on your own. Or you feel like maybe throwing away this person, it's a scary thing. I don't think you need to be afraid of it. In fact, it makes you more attractive. Getting rid of whatever this was definitely made you more attractive. Um, that's just a side note. Mm. I don't think you need to worry about anything here. Yeah. Your strength is seven of wands. They may have come back around already and you may have already pushed them back out and said, no, you're crazy coming back. No, I don't want you. <laughs> That's why I said this read's going to be fun. This is a fun read. Thank you for this, Libra. Um, you don't want this person back and that's your strength. You're able to keep them out. Now, because this is an action card as well, this is also you trying to bring things into you as well. Bringing things in and moving towards things at a rapid pace. Now, the danger with this being in your strength is that you may be moving towards new things a lot quicker than you did in the past before whatever this was that ended. So be careful with that. If it's not you, it's not you then. But for some of you, you may be trying to move into things quicker to kind of like, you know, kind of like removing an old nail <clears throat> out of a plank board. You know, but you don't have the hammer, so you can't put the back of the hammer to remove the old nail. 
So there's a trick that my grandpa taught me is you get a brand new nail and you can pull with the head of the brand new nail, the old nail out. Oh yeah, it works. And um, my oh my, was that advice from my crush when I was in the fourth grade, I think? Hold on. No, it wasn't fourth. I had a crush. Was it fourth grade? Was it fourth grade? It was on a crush I had on a girl. And for some of you that follow me in elementary school, I want to say the girl's name. There was a girl I had a crush on, and then, but she had a boyfriend. She, she actually, she was one of the first girls in my class to have a boyfriend in the class. And I remember, the, I remember their names. I don't want to say them on YouTube, but it was kind of a cute thing. And my grandpa told me, he said, "Hey, just get a new nail. Take the the rusty nail out of the board." And he goes, and the, he goes when he taught me that because we were building a birdhouse for my grandma's in the backyard. And when he taught me that, <clears throat> he said right after that. He goes, now you just realized and learn how to fix your broken heart. And he didn't even know I had my heart broken finding out that she had a boyfriend. So, you know, maybe my grandpa was an intuitive, a secret intuitive, and he never told me. God rest his soul. Very good man, my grandfather. And I feel like maybe some of you need to pay attention to your grandfather or reach out to your grandfather for some advice. If you don't have a grandfather, I'll be the grandfather for you. Um, very interesting. Um, but yeah, the thing he didn't tell me about, because I was young, right? So he wasn't going to get too deep on that. But trying to remove the old nail with the new nail, if you try to do it too fast, you're going to cut your hand, right? He showed me how to do that slowly, and I think that was part of the lesson, to do it slowly. So with the new things that do come your way, do it slowly so that you don't cut your hand, okay? So you don't cut your heart again, because um, there is somebody here for you, and it's a very passionate relationship, and maybe somebody older than you. Some of you get really nasty on the comments. You say, oh, there's an older person, ew. That's so nasty and immature when you leave me that comment, actually. <clears throat> You know, some of you probably can't even guess how old I am. And I'm an older male, but I still look good. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I do kickboxing. I do martial arts. I run. I can outrun a 19-year-old, okay? So, you know, a lot of you may get an older person in the form that you physically are attracted to because this is a physical king, and it's a very physical attractiveness. You won't get me, though. Can't happen. Just kidding. <laughs> The universe is hiding from you two of pentacles. Balancing. You're doing a little balancing act with your heart right now. A lot of you do care about this person. I feel like this person was a good person that you ended it with. But maybe it just didn't connect. Like maybe there was little things. Like sometimes people just get angry for no reason. And they can't explain it. I can explain it. It's a Mars Mongol Dasha going on in the 1st, 5th, 7th, 12th, 8th. Yeah, I could explain it. But for some people like that don't look at astrology, they go, why do I get mad around this person? Maybe they wanted to figure out why they got mad around you. You know, there is love headed your way in the form of a new thing here, though. Um, you know, the thing, the past thing is available, though. It is showing me that it is available. Why? I don't know, but okay. You don't want it, you don't want it. You're showing up in all your sassy Libraness. I like it. Knight of Swords is your advice. Pursue the things that you want. And once again, he's holding that nail, isn't he? He's holding that nail. The nail I told you to go ahead and use. <clears throat> but don't use it too fast because that's going to possibly hurt maybe another person or maybe hurt yourself. And, you know, be careful with who you hurt. Right? Because if you get into something too fast and then you realize, nah, that's not what I want, you hurt somebody, right? Uh, your hopes and fears, introspection. You're, you're afraid that you introspect too much about this thing. No, you're doing it just fine, okay? I need you to hope that all that introspection brings you in that self-awareness to move towards the things that are actually healthy and balanced okay because the universe is kind of working behind the background here to help you balance things out but you don't see that and the more you introspect some of you may be able to meditate 
on this and have some success with that. Unless you're going through some sort of like Mars Mahadasha, you are not going to be able to meditate on anything. You're going to have to do some exercise. Um, Nine of Swords here. Upcoming future. I don't see this as a bad thing. I see this as waking up from the nightmare. And that's waking up from the nightmare of whatever this was in the past. And realizing that you were just kind of creating this for yourself. You were making your own bed of swords here. I have a feeling that whatever you ended here ended peacefully because the other party agreed to it. Said, yeah, sure, fine. You know, like, it's not working. It's not working. So for the pick a card, <clears throat> we're going to do... How I'm going to tailor this is... Some of you want to go back to this past thing um, because it's attractive, because it was mature, and because it was stable. It was the Hierophant, okay? And I feel for some of you, you still have that option available. If you want to go back to that girl, if you want to go back to that boy, this is going to be your pick a card, okay? So yes or no? Should you go back to your boy? Should you go back to your girl? Let's see, one and two. Pick a card, and no, you cannot change your number after I have picked the cards. That is not allowed. Obviously, if they hurt you, you don't want to go back to it, so you can kind of end the video there. If this resonated with you, up to the point of... You don't need to do the pick a card, but that's just a side thing. And actually not doing the pick a card is helping you with the nine of swords here waking up from the nightmare because you've already elevated to that point of I don't need it. Okay? <clears throat> Should you go back to the past person that has the lane open for you or not? Group one, queen of wands. Yes, you should. Uh, this person's kind of waiting for you. Uh, you're the queen of wands to the queen of king of wands here. Woo. They find you very attractive. They find you very suitable for marriage, for partnership, whatever you call it. Easy. <clears throat> Group two, I'd say no, but I'd say no. Think about it some more because there are options here. But I'm starting to feel like this is going to lean more towards a yes because... All the options you get keep getting presented with are crap. So if all the options that you keep getting presented with are unstable, because one of the ones he's holding is unstable, one of them is stable, one of them is grounded, um, you should give it a shot with this thing that's back in your life. Yeah, I would give it. Both of them came out, yes. So yeah, I would definitely, for the Libra, if they're showing you, if obviously they're not a toxic person, right? If, if it's toxic, don't go back to it. Um, but for some of you that are wondering because you know they're a good person, yeah, it's on the table. Yes, it would definitely be healthy. It definitely would lead to something very long-lasting. And you guys have it the roughest with all those eclipses going on in your first. So, you know, take it easy. Introspect about you. Hopefully it's not something that's missing inside of you that you want to go back to this person. Hopefully it's something that you introspected and realized, yeah, maybe they're a good match for me. That's all I got for you, Libra. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys again next week.